what's happening guys i'm dan welcome back to the channel it's been a minute since i've seen this on the market it's coming from shorts brewing company out of bel air slash elk rapids it is dan's pink skirt available in six pack cans last time i had this it was 2020, the infamous year of 2020, early that year. Uh, I had had it in bottle form. It was the first time I had it. I really enjoyed it. I did look it up because I remember having this and thoroughly enjoying it, guys. But now my palate's a little bit more shaped uh, and advanced than it used to be. This is, if I remember correctly, I looked at the review, not all of it, West Coast Base Beer. And it is quite bitter from what I saw. And now my palate enjoys that more than ever before. So let's revisit this one. Uh, let's see if this is up to par or just as good if not better than I remember guys so this was packaged on 9 2024 and today is the 6th of October super fresh just now got to it I've had it for a few days in my arsenal just now getting able to review it 7.8 percent no slouch of a beer and it looks like it's wrapped around a different beer underneath so I see I've seen that shorts like does reuse a lot of their labels they use the same cans and they wrap over it. I don't mind that. I'm just giving you a note. I see some like decals underneath, so I don't know what was underneath underneath this. Maybe I'll check it out after. And fun fact, Dan Rogers is the, or was, last time I checked, maybe something has changed, the master brewer at Griffin Claw in Birmingham, Michigan. I go there frequently. Me and my dad really enjoy that uh, brewery. We go there quite frequently when I visit downstate. And I did do a brew tour with Dan Rogers once upon a time, probably in... 2018 2019 whatever year it was i don't even remember uh so that was a fun fact of the day so let's get into this one see what it's about super fresh and again shorts tiku glass prapa hashtag prapa glassware let's get to this one guys hope you guys are doing well it's chilly it's getting a little bit cooler in northern michigan now the colors are starting to pop i'm chilling in the backyard getting this to go Look at that beauty. Looks good. There's no sunlight. I won't have a pretty picture today. Uh, this is just what it is with cloudy weather. Uh, big pillow we had sitting on top of the uh, off-white. Really dense. Like I say dense, this is very dense. Uh, this orangey copper. Big, dark, muddy orange. This looks beautiful. Uh, looks great in the glass. Looks west coast. It's definitely not clear. There is uh, certainly no translucency to this beer as of right now. Maybe I can see a shadow of my hand. That's about it. Uh, but it's so dark and super muddy orange. Again, um, really nice color, but kind of wasn't expecting that for some reason. I don't know what I was expecting. Maybe a little bit more lightness to it, a little more golden yellow, but it's not the case today. Let's get an aroma. Looks, looks really good right there. Check that out. That's about what the color is. Wow. Wow. So when I was watching my last review, I feel like I was I was being a little outrageous. I was like, this smells amazing. It's so bold and juicy, but it's West Coast. Wow, guys, like this is like super sweet malt bill but it's the bright aromatics of like candied uh, grapefruit candy tangerine oranges uh, smells super juicy and sweet up front uh, there is a little bit of like pine resin and earthiness on the back end but it's like it's like bubble gummy like bubble gum fruit super sweet and juicy um, I'm kind of taken back it's a, it's a very very impressive uh, aromatic straight up right to the nose what, what else does that smell like? It's, I'm getting like juicy juice, like bubble gum. It's like sugary grapefruit and sugary navel orange put together. Like literal sugar doused in grapefruits, doused in navel oranges. Clementine skin. There's something else too. It's just like this juicy like stone fruit too. Maybe like juicy peach. But I can't overstate the sweetness. Like this has a, such a sweet malt bill. It's like it's kind of biscuity and malty, uh, but it's it's it doesn't feel old school. It's, it seems like just straight popping fruits, uh, sweet and and just luscious fruits. A little bit of pine oils, but that sweetness is really dominant. Like it's the biggest thing. And I'm, again, I can't overstate like juicy juice bubble gum. Um, really fierce on the nose. I don't know, I'm diving in. I feel like there could be stone fruit in here as well, but uh, we'll stick with the citrus. Uh, Dan's pink skirt, cheers. Really crazy aromatics. And then there it is. Freaking ton of IBUs on the back end, smacking your mouth up with a West Coast beauty. Super dry on the back end. Malt bill is sweet, uh, juices 
are flowing. Uh, you've got bold fruits. Again, this juicy, luscious, sugary grapefruit, sugary clementines, uh, clementine skins and oils. A little bit of like juicy dry peach at the same time too. But then bone dry, resinous, grassy, fierce pine on the back end just drying out your palate super hoppy on the back end just a clear indication of a west coast monster uh it drinks like a huma on the back end but drier uh it it feels like 7.8 is really sweet and easy at first and then you're really hit with those ibus and a little bit of that body medium carbonation um and it just hangs on guys it clings this hoppy level just clings to your palate bone dry grass pine resin for days and days and days just a really hugely hopped up west coast beer uh no shocker from shorts i, I wasn't overstating it uh, but again this like luscious fruitiness coupled with that hoppiness the hoppiness wins at the end it just it takes over um but again the front end of this there is sweet bready malts uh it's complemented by like this orange tangerine clementine juice bubblegum juicy juice uh, oils of of uh, maybe a peach oils of grapefruit and sugar and then the sugar is gone pine resin four days crazy hoppy on the back end more orange than grapefruit but it, it plays with each other um I, i'm mind boggled how this bitters out on the back end it is so ridiculously bitter and hoppy uh but it ends up it ends up being a little bit more hoppy than even my palate really likes at the end of the day and i love west coast beers but it is very astringently hoppy on the back end great beer great recipe but you know it feels like that juicy juice should come through a little bit more it starts to fade the more you drink it because that hot bitterness just lingers and it takes over it takes control of your palate uh -huh. Um, great West Coast beer. If you like West Coast IPAs, man, this is nearly a double. This will smack you up. Uh, and again, ridiculously hoppy on the back end. It's a great beer. It's a great recipe. I love the aromatics. I wish it was just a touch juicier. This beer would be elite, absolutely elite, if it had held on to some of those fruits just a touch longer and it mingled just a little bit longer with that bitterness. But this is an elite beer at the end of the day. Uh, it's just, it's very hoppy. Ooh, and it starts to kick in a little bit. So I think my original rating was a four out of five, guys. Um, I, I, you know, I'm, I'm probably gonna step back a little bit. Like I feel like it is in that range for sure. It just isn't mingling as well as I hoped it would, but this is awesome West Coast old recipe. Really great beer. I really do like this beer. Uh, it's just crazy hoppy, man. And it's, if you like hot bombs, this is for you. It's dry, it's bitter, it's astringent and resinous, uh, earthy and grassy. And then those fruits kind of dissipate. You know, you, you get them at first. I liked my first sip more than I like my current sip. Uh, but that being said, I think I'm just going to walk it back a little bit. Three, nine out of five. I respect the game, respect the recipe. Uh, awesome beer. Glad Shorts brought it back, I think, four years later. So, guys, Dan's Pink Skirt, three, nine for me. Until next time, cheers, pros. Yamas. If you're going to pour a beer, pour a Michigan beer.